Was everybody crypto muscle come to you with another YouTube video? And so here we are in the Nashville now. We're wise syndicate. This is where it's at. Pump and iron to pump crypto. This is the crypto muscle and the crypto muscle network coming to you with another YouTube video. All I gotta say is subscribe to everything I got if you want to stay on top of everything that goes on in this scene. All right, this is the playground we play on, and there's lots of you know, good things and bad things that goes on in this playground. And what I do is, uh, well, shit, I keep it real. I mean, that's the appeal of what I do. I keep it real. All right. Among all the bullshit that you see and hear out there all the time, one thing I always do is I keep it 100. Keep it real from the beginning to the end. Whether I introduce something, whether something ends, I'm always there. All right, I've been doing it since 2019, in and out. All right, various platforms, I've done it all, I've seen it all. I, I know what happens many times in this space because I've seen it. <laughs> now, I'm a purveyor of history here, all right? You want to talk about history book right here. All right, the only other person in this space that is a, purve a purveyor of history himself is a legendary oracle. You put us together, man, we could tell you countless of stories that have gone on in this space as far back as, you know, he's been on YouTube since like 2017. I've been in the crypto scene since 2017. So I've seen it all, experienced it a lot before I got on YouTube, done it all, and so I know what it's like, you know. And so with that, this is the Crypto Death Watch, and just because I talk about it doesn't mean it's dead yet, right? And with these platforms, they're not dead until I say they're dead, right? <laughs> I've been saying, for example, like Novatech was a dead issue a long time ago. I kept saying that, man, this shit's dying. But none of you guys wanted to believe it when I had Novatech on Death Watch. You see how I had it on Death Watch for uh, when I called it out? And you guys did not want to believe it. <laughs> it's so funny. And just countless of other ones I've put out there. Put it on Death Watch, man, it's so funny. Drip right now, Death Watch. Actually, let's do a quick look at Drip. Ooh, look at that, huh? And just in one day, it's flat. But it's so bad, man. Drip is so bad. And you and you dummies are probably falling for it still, all right? And that's the thing about it, you know? It's like, it dumped big time, huge dump last week. And that's a sign... <laughs> That you think is it get better than this? No, oh, no, but but they have a, a bulletproof contract, man. It it makes it it's been doing what it says it's supposed to do, man. One percent a day has not failed. One percent a day, yeah. <laughs> What's failed is the value of this. One percent a day at four is not the same as one percent a hundred bucks that you bought it at. All right, keep believing in it. But anyhow, let's talk about it. All right, so where do I begin? All right, let's talk about IS Global. All right, so here's IS Global. I've been meaning to talk about IX Global, but I always forget about it because, well, it's more of an afterthought, you know, um, whereas these other ones of platforms are more, you know, subjective, not subjective, but um, more of a solid matter is what it is. And IX Global is more of an afterthought, but it did make some headway uh, last week, all right? And what happened was that, let's talk about it, right? On the 4th. Uh, see, so as you may have read, uh, on August 3rd, Depp was served a civil lawsuit by Securities Exchange Commission headquartered in Salt Lake City. SEC press release yesterday. ICE Global was named in the lawsuit as well. So uh, just a little background on ICE Global. Right? I messed around with it a little bit. I think probably the biggest presence on YouTube that I've seen that was in it was Jamie uh, you know Jamie out there that, that says that you could be a new whale and 
he'll make statements like that or uh what else are you to say? It's, it, it's been doing its thing, right? Every platform has been doing its thing. It continued to do its thing, right? And that's it. You know, the videos of that all day long. But anyhow, um, the point of it is that yeah, I, bet I dabbled around IS Global for a little while, right? Behind the scenes. And I try to put it out there for a little while, too, just to kind of show you what was going on with it and what I was doing. And, you know, this whole thing with mining for their uh, coins. And their coins are supposed to be of, you know, like real world tangible goods that provide, you know, that would give a value. So, for example, aluminum. So, they had a little coin for aluminum. Uh, natural gas. They had one for natural gas. Um, you know, just different types of like tokens or coins or whatever that represent something of tangibility uh, or real world. Um, you know, source, you know, sources, you know, and, you know, it, it, you make what you make of them, right? When it comes to the tokens and coins, it's going to be, you know, what you make of them, right? If there's going to be some uh, demand and the supply is low, what happens? The price goes up, right? If there's no demand and a big supply, what happens? The price goes down, it gets dumped on, right? So you get the idea, right? I mean, that's just, the ebbs and flows of cryptocurrency in the market, you know, s supply, demand, all that stuff in between, activity, and the list goes on. So, with that, IS Global is just like whatever, you know. I mean, it was just all right. I didn't, I didn't really care for it, and then I ended up having issues with it. You, this is the the basic stuff you buy into it, right? Academy education, but. You know, this stuff is more like a side piece to the the bigger thing, which was the debt box, which was the mining thing with the tokens and all that. That was the whole thing with it, right? Uh, this whole education crap was just a, a side piece to try to be like, um, you know, a cover for its actual operations, right? Because that's how a lot of platforms are. They would implement an education piece to the bigger picture of what they were doing, which was passive income, right? Cash of X did that. Cuba Live, the list goes on and on. They all provided some sort of education, but the biggest thing for it was, you know, the portfolios or the packages or whatever it is that they offer in order to make passive income. That's the biggest appeal. No one cares about this education crap, but, you know, you got to satisfy financial authorities, uh, three-letter organizations and things like that in order to um, kind of just, you know, make it through and and um, make money on all sides of everything, whether you're the platform person or you're the passive income person trying to make something of it, right? And so IS Global wasn't anything different. They had their CEO. They had people that bought into it. And people that try to make money from it, right? That's just a, one, another program. So, I spun off high school because I had my own issues with it. I just didn't care for it anymore. I got tired of, you know, there was like this IS Global side here. But the, the, the major piece to me and to everybody else is the debt box, right? Where you could mine those tokens and try to get something out of them. So, that's the whole thing of it, right? Um, fast forward, I had problems with my passwords, my account, tried to change my email address, and it was just a hard time not being able to do nothing. I was like, screw it, I'm done with it. And I spun them off, right? And so I did a video about that I spun them off. I just didn't care no more. So now that catches up to speed on what, why I stopped talking about it. And I don't even know if Jamie still talks about it or not. I think he really slow down talking. He used to talk about this all the time. And there was like a couple of other ones he used to talk about like all the time. And this was one of them. But then he's been stacking on platforms lately. Like, like used to be just a couple of them. Now he's been stacking on. Oh, he was big on Drip and IX Global. Those are like the main two he has stuck on for a long time. And all of a sudden now he's stacked on platforms. Kind of like what, well, hmm, Crypto Muscle is doing, you know, it's kind of funny. But anyhow, um, Going back to this, so high school was the name of the lawsuit, and high school has been fully committed to due diligence, compliance, and 
and transparency as education and marketing company fostering uh, education and innovation and based on, on the marketing uh, company they have not been exposed to any evidence that would cause them to be questioned the integrity and operation of debt box or the validity of their software um, all that stuff right they said they've been very clear about their disclaimers and every call and all that stuff that shit does not matter about the disclaimer and stuff, because I know that your boy, your douchebag boy, uh, dickbag, what's his name, Marcos, he always tries to put out disclaimers and all that stuff, and he's such a bitch that that does not matter, dude. <laughs> you plaster your face everywhere out there, and you know, acting like you know the shit, you are the shit in crypto, oh my gosh, man, you know all the answers, you're, you're just a know-it-all, right? Your dumbass is the one that's going to get your own self caught up, because you're just a dumbass, dude. And um, you and Jan, all right, your little dickhead buddy, are is, is gonna you're gonna see in due time, right? I mean, that's just because Jan has already been named in things, right? And you want to link up yourself with a bald-headed dildo? That be be my guess. Go on ahead, because you sure like to be his little parrot, right? So, uh, but, but we'll go into that in a second here. So. Because uh, this disclaimers thing, you know, just kind of got me talking here. Uh, never risk more than you can afford to lose. Past results and doesn't guarantee future results and all that stuff, right? And that they said they'll fully cooperate on transparency and compliance and all that stuff. At this time, uh, they hope they can resolve this in full and work with uh, this whole thing and getting this passed uh, through, uh, you know, the authorities and stuff. And they said that they cannot speak on debt and the mining software and licenses and rewards. But they said that they're going to try to continue to pay out their affiliates and ambassadors uh, as we move forward. Right? That's what they're saying. It says, thank you for your support. So that's what they were saying, right? Uh, but anytime uh, the authorities move in on something like this, I think it's it's a done deal. It's a kibosh. Squash like a kibosh. It's done. All right, it's over. There's no way IX Global is going to escape that if SEC is now in it, all right? Once SEC penetrates with their big sword, you know what I'm talking about, in between their legs, it, and they penetrate in, oh, yeah, it's it's not coming back out. <laughs> That's all I got to say. So IX Global, to me, it's done. It's over, all right, because... When's the last time you see, and I know you're going to say, oh, Ripple. No, that's uh, <laughs> gone through a, a, an appeal now. But uh, anytime any sort of financial authority swoops right in, it's not it's not looking good at all. All right. And we've seen it. Mirror trading, big example. Um, that That's another, I mean, there's countless of other ones out there, right? That NVFX, re, most recently in New York. Uh, so many of these things, right? Shit, here's a, here's another recent one. You want to know about seized funds? Let's go over here. All right, let's go take a look here. This is uh, right here. CFTC charges residents of Florida, Louisiana, and crypto fraud. You know what this is on? This is on uh, right here. Funds. Look at that. <laughs> Available worldwide, but not in California. All right. Too little, too late. That's why they went and tried to go private. So, with funds... All right, we call this the private earning group because we want it to be in disguise, right? That's part of their whole idea of being private. But when it comes to putting out the news, I got to put out the news. And um, they talked about it, right? They said, well, that news made the headlines, right? And we cover that. Uh, this right here, right? What was it? What day was this here? I don't know if they put a date on it. Uh, it's like, it says August 12th here. So this must have been around that date uh, a few days ago, right? So with that, though, CFTC and they, even funds came out straight up said CFTC seized their funds, all right? So there you go. If they seized their funds... There's no way they, they're going to get that back. It's done. It's a done deal. There, be, there's That's the reality of it all. Whether it's SEC, CFTC, it doesn't matter. 
They said they're going to try to way, find a way to work with them to get the funds back. That was their statement they said from funds itself. All right, and again, I've never seen any sort of financial authorities or of that matter, three-letter entities, whatever you want to call it, you know, I've never seen any of them give back funds. Once they go in and, you know, take it over, whatever you want to call it, seize it, you know, swing the big sword between their legs, it never comes back out. It's done. It's a done deal. It's over. There, I know that just before this week, they're talking about regrouping and, you know, renaming themselves and all this other stuff. So we'll, it remains to be seen if that's what they're going to do. But funds is dead. All right, it doesn't matter what they're going to say they're going to do right now with funds. It's dead. CFTC seized it. There's no way they're going to get out of it. And so, by the way, not available for California residents. Why? Well, because they had a cease and refrain order as well. So with that, all right, that dick bag Marcos who thinks he knows all the answers and you know, and he's a parrot to jam with that, you know, that's fake sauce, right? Come on, man. Get the fuck out of here with that. You know, that's fake sauce. What are you, a, a jam wannabe? Why don't you shave your head like a dildo too? Because you'll, you'll definitely look like a dildo yourself, all right? Because you are pretty much a dickhead anyways too. And um, such, so arrogant and, and cocky. And that's the thing about you, man. You're so arrogant. You're so cocky. You think you know it all. The statements you make, all right, and and uh, you know, no wonder you pull the wool over your eyes. The door, man, shit, man. You know, she falls, she falls for everything, cause I mean, shit. And uh, I mean, look, look at what you are, all right, because you, you're blasphemous in what you do all the time, right? You lie about your shit all the time. You, you know, have this fake bullshit. I got Fridays and Saturdays off due to religion. I had a recent health problem with belching. Get the fuck out of here with this. I mean, that's the problem with you, man. All right, you're so full of shit. And so many people can see that, right? It's so obvious that you mark out and you kiss Jan's ass, right? All day and night, you, you, you kiss out, kiss his ass, and people can see that, all right? Even though, even though Jan says that, you know, you're his bitch, and you you know make me bacon bitch right and you'll make i mean the, the contradicting statements you make all the time you're not into fly by night ceos which he was right you you know you're not into any company that fly by night ceos and you harp about proof of trading in every platform you talk about right but man when jan says he saw it all with coin market bull no questions asked right he saw it he saw it <laughs> He saw everything, right? Jan said he saw everything. Every time, every video. He saw everything. But yet, um, when it came down to it, oh, no, no, no. He, he said he only saw everything on Zoom. It's like, wait a second, dude. You made it sound so convincing that he saw everything, man. You were so convinced yourself. You believed in it that he saw everything to only backtrack and say, oh, yeah, no, he only saw, saw it on Zoom. Get out of here, man. So full of shit. All right. I mean, the list goes on and on, right? Proof of trading and all that stuff, you know? And uh, like I said, I mean, you think this is going to be a no problem, no bubbles, no troubles deal here when it says something like this? And uh, what has happened with Vortec United? So here's what happened with Vortec United. We all know they have a cease and refrain order from California, so you cannot be messing with this thing in California. Alas, same thing with, with funds, right? <laughs> Can't mess around with this in California, all right? And so, with that, I'm not saying anything harmful about Vortec United because Vortec United is, is my dog, right? It, it's definitely my dog, all right? This is definitely my best platform there is right now in this space. And, you know, they've, they've had their odd sort of uh, per, you know, tw tw I don't, I don't know what you want to call it. Odd little, uh, you know, 
indices this week, all right, or the last couple weeks with me, I mean, you know, it did pay me eventually last week, right, thanks to Queen D's prayers. Didn't work this week, though. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and if you guys saw my Death Watch update yesterday, um, you know, I, we, t- we covered Vortex United and their message about how they're trying to work on this full automated paying um, sort of thing to where it's going to automatically pay when it, you know, it does its sort of uh, earnings from trading and then, uh, you know, the commissions you get from referrals and things like that. So that's, um, they said it's going to be within seven, eight days or so. That was what was announced yesterday. Uh, we're going to see if that's going to happen, right? Um, you know, in light of the whole season refrain. And that was actually reported the week before, right? It kind of just kind of went by everybody. I didn't, I didn't even know, know about it until it was mentioned to me. But it kind of went by everybody quietly, you know? Like, it just, I, don't, I mean, season refrain is an issue. But no, no, no. Uh, according to Marcos, it's just fake sauce, right? You know, fake sauce. But the problem is, and I hate I hate to say it. I, I really hate to say it. Um, because once it gets established, it doesn't go away. It, it'll start to snowball forward, right? So it's going to open up the windows or the doors to just more states or more nations to kind of, you know, implement their own sort of whatever you want to call that, all right, of, you know, resistance, I guess you could say, to it, all right, to the point of, you know, what happens with Cash of X, what happens with Novatech, all that stuff. So, uh, Marco's dumbass, all right, uh, I, I hate to say it, but it's not going to get any better, dude. So it's not fake sauce. All we could do is, you know, do what we can right now while it's still here, right? If it's still here, it's still paying, shit. Sorry, California. Um, you know, you can't, you can't bother with this in California. Sorry about that, California. Sorry about your luck, all right? You're going to have to find something else. But hey, you know what? I'm still on it. Uh, I'm still, you know, just, it, it, it's still doing its thing until it doesn't, right? It hasn't this week. We'll see what happens next week, all right? And that's all we can really do is just hang in there for it. But I just don't like it when you have Marco's dirt bag and the Jans of the world talk like they know what's best for everybody. And, uh, you know, they'll say things like, oh, we don't provide a financial advice, but I recommend this. And it's like, well, shit, if you're not providing financial advice, how can you still make recommendations? I mean, that's the thing about it, right? And they'll, they'll push bullshit like, you know, compounding and all that other bullshit stuff they do all the time. They've done it all on every every platform. You know, here's, here's a compounding spreadsheet calculator, guys, all right? So, you know, that that's their thing. That's their jam. You know why? Because uh, underhandedly, it's, it sneaks commissions to them, right? And so um, that's why they push that hard. But anyhow, um, with Vortex United, you know, we'll see what happens with it. Uh, you know, Jensen feels very positive about this new rollout that he's going to do with this whole automated payout system. Uh, according to my upline, so hey, you know what, I'm 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 for it, you know, I'm all for it, but at the same time, you know, I am reality, and even though it's a great platform, you know, we cannot fall in love. That's the thing. All right, and here's another one here. Here's an update too. And you know what's funny about these platforms, though? I mean, outside of funds. You know, when you have the CloudFi's, the Vortec, and you start seeing all the ones that your buddies have gone into, and either they've gotten wrecked or gotten the attention of financial authorities, <laughs> it, it doesn't bode well. It doesn't. It just doesn't work out. So CloudFi is in a different predicament, a different situation, right? They uh, last week announced that 
they're just going to just single out the withdraws to just one a week uh, because this whole um, instant withdraws uh, on your own was getting out of hand because, of course, because your your uh, home records there, Marcos and Jan, again, fuck things up by uh, you know going into things uh, to this CloudFi thing and showing how fun it is and how great it is to have instant batch ID withdrawals with Bitcoin. And, uh, hey, you know, it's on the house, you know, we'll do like five record-breaking withdrawals in a matter of seconds and shit like that. And not realizing the ramifications of how it can really fuck up a platform. So what Cloudify was doing for a matter of convenience, right, and giving you back something that's of special value, Bitcoin, you had these fools... You know, dildo head and dirt bag, fuck things up, and do multiple withdrawals all the time on the daily, right? And you know, when you have that, and you're showcasing that, what's going to happen? People are going to do the same shit. And now you have, you know, hundreds, maybe thousands of people that do the same bullshit. What happens to that? Well, shit, <laughs> it eats into the platform performance. When it comes to what they're trying to do is put out profit. You know who, who pays for the blockchain fees? Well, shit, CloudFi has to pay for it because if you're not paying for it, somebody has to pay for it. CloudFi is paying for it. So no, they fuck things up and um, that's what happened there. And then that's why they went ahead and implemented this whole one week payout thing. But now there's been a hiccup, right? So Sunday was the day to do it. Monday was supposed to be, you know, the withdrawal day. And now today is Wednesday. So what's happening Wednesday? Well, we're going to find out because so far, nothing's been coming out of it as far as we know. I mean, they said that they've been, man, you know, manually doing withdrawals to each person one by one um, up through yesterday. And they said they're going to address this matter um at some point today and this is before the recording of this particular video so I can't really tell you what's you know, privy before that but I'm just giving you the events that led up to this and so it's funny how you have uh, platforms that have come and died under the guise of Jan anytime he touches something it's turned to uh, whoo, and woo -woo, woo -woo, and, you know to dust now, right? CMB's dust, Max spreads dust, and uh, you know what's happening here with Vortec and Cloudfire. Who knows, right? They're they've been in it, and uh, now Invisible AI. Oh man, you know Invisible AI, Lee. <laughs> Come on, Lee, wake up, man. You know we've already we've already chatted though. All right, I give you I've. You know, giving you a heads up, Lee. So hopefully, you just, you know, be be cautious. Is all I'm saying, Lee. And I'm talking to Lee Dalton of Invisible AI, the CEO. Uh, just be very cautious, all right? Because look what's happening out there, you know. But yeah, so we'll see what happens with Cloudfy. You know, uh, I'm not trying to say nothing bad about Vortec or Cloudfy, because uh, Vortec is, like I said, is my lead dog. Cloudfy is my number two. Uh, you know, one, two punch there. And hopefully whatever CloudFi is dealing with can pull through, you know. If not, won't well, shit, totally understand why. Because you have fuck-ups <laughs> that fucked everything over. And you can blame that on uh, your buddies out there, Marcos and Jan. All right. They've wrecked several platforms now. And if they wrecked CloudFi, I, you know what? It wouldn't it wouldn't be put past me if they did, uh, and um, if it happened to Vortec, it wouldn't be put past me either, you know. So, but, um, you know, and it's funny because Marcos is so defensive when it comes to Jan, you know. Uh, he even said, "Oh, you know, uh, Jan's gotten away from the whole thing with titles now, right? Because he was a wannabe CEO of everything. Now all of a sudden, Marcos is explaining for him, right?" Oh, yeah, yeah, he's trying to get away from those titles now. Get the fuck out of here, man. So full of shit, arrogant, man. That's the thing about it, man. You're as p 
parrot. You're Jan's bitch. And uh, definitely suck his dick. So, yeah. Keep doing that, buddy. And we're, we're going to see what happens, man, when you fuck up more platforms. Because that's what's happening right now. And that's what I've been seeing out there. I don't know if you guys seen it because I've been seeing that. And um, that's where it's at. So, this is your Death Watch update, all right? Funds, I think, is going to be done. It's it's over, right? They, they got their funds seized. They even said it. They said they're going to regroup. I don't know how they're going to get that, those funds back. They'll probably start fresh and new. Vortec. Man, it's going to be very pivotal next week. All right, because, you know, they started having, oddly, you know, when it comes to... Uh, issues these last couple of weeks right ERC20 had a bug like two weeks ago and then uh, last week it ETH came out very slow TRC20 was fine and then now this week it's like they held off because they're trying to implement instead of like a half hearted system they wanted to go full on with this whole uh, full payout system so next week is a very pivotal week, all right? They said seven, eight days. That's what they, the last message said, all right? But, you know, they've been pressing on, all right? Jensen's pressing on. He's, uh, according to, you know, a meeting as of today, he's pretty happy and, you know, with the progress of it. Um, he's still talking about the one-year event coming up. So, very pivotal point next week. We're going to see what happens. CloudFi, all right. We're going to see what happens this week. You know, we, we don't, we still don't know the answers yet. I think they said they're going to talk about it uh, today on Wednesday. If not, we'll find out at some point um, this week, hopefully. You know, I always give, you know, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, you know. This is kind of like the first hiccup. So, you know, things happen. We'll see, you know. Um, but we already know what led to this, all right? I've been, I've been saying it the whole time, and uh, this shit's real. So, um, yeah, it's just kind of catching up everything that's going on out there right now with these platforms. And, of course, uh, you know, nothing new with Afrik yet. They've uh, cranked up the trading with their AI bots they got going on here. Uh, but there's no word yet as to when they'll start withdrawals again. That's the whole thing that matters, right? Um, is when's that going to come? Who knows, right? But, you know, progress is progress. Africa is still on death watch until they pull out of it, right? Can they pull out of it? Oh, yeah. Very good possibility of pulling out of death watch. The key of it is that, you know, if it's not paying at the moment, but it comes back and paying, shit. You're out of Death Watch, right? That's just easy as that. Vortex, same thing. You know, Cloudfly, same thing, right? You're, you're, it. The, the ball is in the these guys' court. If they want to pull themselves out, just pay out. That's it. Simple as that. So uh, yeah, I just want to give you guys the latest update on these and insight because you know it's it's not it's just you know bullshit stuff I see out there and hear out there and you know you gotta stay positive guys and all that stuff and how about this you know I'm saying stuff that I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking alright and maybe just don't want to say it or afraid to say it or you get censored from saying it right so I'm saying it <laughs> so how about that and um other than that, I don't see nothing else right now on the horizon in terms of uh, other platforms not paying. I did see whispers of, what is that one, Glue Tech? There's some platform called Glue Tech that drained contracts. That was another one, too. But, yeah, I think that's uh, everything there. So, uh, other than that, comment down below, though. Links down below. Let me know what you think about all that stuff. And other than that, I'll see you next one.